everybody, I'm Kasha, and today we're going to be making a roux. So a roux is basically a basis for a lot of different sauces, and it works as a good thickener so that your sauces aren't like lumpy and gross, because nobody wants that. A roux is made with equal parts flour and oil. You can also use butter as a substitute, but I'm going to use oil today because that's what I have in my fridge. The cook time for a roux depends on what kind of sauce that you're trying to make. If you want to make like a lighter, fluffier sauce, like a white sauce for mac and cheese or for maybe like scalloped potatoes, then you want to cook it for about three to five minutes until it's kind of light and fluffy. If you cook your roux just a little bit longer, about six to seven minutes, you'll have the perfect roux for gravy. If you're doing more Cajun cooking, you'll want what's called a dark roux, which is cooked about eight to 15 minutes, which is a longer range. Now, the longer you cook it, the less thickening power that the roux has. So it'll be a little bit thinner at the 15 minute mark, but if that's the kind of sauce that you're looking for, then that'll be perfect for you. So to start, we're gonna take one third cup of vegetable oil, pour it into the pan. And we'll heat this up before we actually start adding the flour. Okay, so now that the oil is up to a good temperature, we're gonna add one third cup of flour. Mixing it in, turn this down to a medium heat. You'll want to constantly stir the roux to ensure that it cooks evenly and thickens properly. You don't want any lumps in there. It's been about four minutes, so as you can see, we've attained a nice light brown color. Um, the consistency is nice and thin, a little puffy, so this will be great for a light roux, for maybe mac and cheese, or if you wanted to do a creamy sauce on your pasta. Um, this is where you'd want to stop for that. So the oil is hydrating the flour and activating the starch, and the starch will actually then thicken and create the nice thick gravy that you want. Ooh, she's darkening. Alright, so it's been a few more minutes now. The roux's been cooking for about six and a half minutes. Uh, so it's reached the stage of brown roux, which is great for gravy. Um, so a lot of people end up just making this as their base, putting it on their mashed potatoes or maybe on their turkey. Super delicious. I'd say it's a little bit thicker, less puffy. Um, definitely looks and feels like gravy. And as we talked about before, the longer it's cooking, the less thickening power it'll actually have. So if you want a thicker sauce, then you'll want to cook it for just a few minutes. But if you want something a little bit thinner that you can pour over more easily, um, a longer time will be better. So the starch granules are thickening and it's called gelatinization. So these gems are formed as the starch swells and absorbs different water molecules and hydrates itself from the oil. So it's been about 10 minutes and I've obtained the dark roux. Now if you wanted to add flavor to it, which I would highly suggest as flour and oil probably don't taste good on their own, um, you want to let it cool for a little while and then you can add your other ingredients like a cream or a milk to make it an actual sauce um, and then add some other good flavors so that it tastes nice. Good job, everybody.